I have Thanksgiving on the brain because I am gearing up for Thanksgiving, but I wanna share some different sides and salads that you can make, that you can bring to someone's house or you can incorporate in part of your Thanksgiving. So butternut squash is one of my favorite during this time of year. So we are going to roast it with some roasted apples and make a wild rice salad with tons of fresh herbs and a little bit of feta. Mm -hmm. So you got that fall flavor, you got the apple and the butternut squash, a little bit of sweet, we're gonna use a little cinnamon, wild rice, which is gonna give it that nutty, grainy feeling and the actual body to the salad, which can be served room temperature. You can make it the night before, put it in the fridge, you can bring it cold or let it sit out room temp either way. We're gonna make a little olive oil and lemon vinaigrette with it, and then we're gonna crumble feta all over the top of it. Number one thing you gotta do is you have to peel your butternut squash. We need, you can't serve it with the skin on. So take a peeler, just be careful of your hands. I like to go, once I get to the, this kind of, this part, I cut them in half. I like to go around in a circle with it. Sometimes it's a little bit of a workout, a little rough, it's okay. Turn it, you can peel it straight down as well. We're gonna peel it and medium dice it, throw it in a bowl so we can season it up and get it roasting. Then we can worry about the rest of this uh, components to this salad. So it's all peeled, let's cut it. So flat surface on the bottom, use your hands, and we're gonna cut them in strips like this, around a quarter of an inch. And then make your sticks. So then, then you can run your knife through it and dice them. So we're gonna go with a nice medium dice. We want it to have some bite. It's gonna shrink a little bit when it cooks. So we're gonna dice this all up. Now the apples, I'm gonna dice the same size and I am gonna peel them. And the reason I'm peeling them, if I was putting the apples in fresh, which you can do as well, I wouldn't peel them, but we're gonna roast them because I want them to be cooked. So because we're roasting them, I'm peeling them because I don't want that, you know when that skin from the apple kind of comes off like meh? We don't want to meh. Okay, all our apples are peeled. So we're gonna cut them same size as our um, butternut squash. And we're throwing them in with the butternut squash. We're gonna roast them all together. And then another thing I'm gonna be adding in is I'm going to add in a shallot. Um, just to give a savory component because there is a lot of sweet going on here and you have to balance. So I think the shallot and all the fresh herbs we're gonna put in is gonna give it a really nice balance. Um, this is a super fun salad. I'm like so, so excited about this. Um, you can use a pear if you don't want to use apple and you can use sweet potato if you don't want to use butternut squash. So there's options on how to like change it up. I think the kids are gonna like this as well. Honestly, I really am kind of want a piece of apple. The shallot's optional. You don't have to put it in if you don't want to, but I'm just gonna do a really fine chop on it. And we're gonna add this to, in the bowl here, I have our apples and butternut squash chop, chopped already. So I'm gonna add it so it roasts in the oven all together. All right, so in the bowl has the butternut squash, the apples, and the shallot. And we're adding in our seasoning mix, which is a little bit of pumpkin pie spice, some cinnamon, and then I have this Georgian spice blend that has a little bit of za'atar in it, and I'm adding that in to give a little bit of a kick, because I think za'atar goes great with feta cheese, and especially the wild rice. Drizzling a little bit of olive oil in here, and we already greased our pan. We're gonna get this roasting in the oven. Roasting in the oven till nice and tender, and we're gonna chop up our herbs and get our rice with the feta ready. So when this comes out, we can make a salad. All in the sheet pan, ready to go in. 350, 30 minutes, turning it halfway through, giving them a toss. And I did not add salt and pepper at the end here because I usually do it before I go in the oven. I didn't because we're gonna season up the salad. Our wild rice, big bowl, just scooping it in. I just cooked it with a little bit of chicken salt and see chick stock and sea salt you know a little tongue tied we're gonna crumble in our feta I'm using like half a block i buy the block ones that sits in the brine and then oh yeah just give it a good crumble and i let the rice cool um while right now the butternut squash are in there and then we'll let that cool before we mix it all together but just crumble the feta And then we're gonna 
Let's do the scallions first on a, a nice little bias to make it look fancy. We're just gonna go nice and thin all the way down and add this right in there and we'll chop up our fresh parsley as well. Just that herb flavor that will be such a nice bright note to this salad. Our butter that squash is out. Everything's in the bowl, we let it cool. This is another reason why we use foil. Look at this. Drops all the butternut squash right on into the bowl. Throw it away. Okay, butternut squash, wild rice, scallions, fresh parsley. I had already juiced two lemons in here. Um, and now we're gonna add the olive oil. Oh yeah. And we're gonna toss it all together. Let me give you a better look. Hold on. There we go. Wild rice, feta, fresh herbs, butternut squash, all tossed together. What a great side dish that you can bring to any party, to Thanksgiving. Has a little bit of feta in it for a little bit of a bite. Fresh herbs, the sweetness from the butternut squash and the apples. I'm gonna be really honest, I love this. The apple, the feta, the sweetness from the butternut squash. Look how beautiful this is, super colorful. Put it in like a clear bowl, hold on. A little salt, one more lemon. One more lemon, ooh, I let a seed go in. One more lemon, I let two seeds go in. Look at this salad. Come here, let me show ya. Look at that salad. Perfect. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God, it's so good. Enjoy.